Hello there, I'm Moira MacDonald, as if you didn't know that. Um, I have finally made a junk journal. It uh, has been a while, probably at least by now about four weeks, if not longer. Um, I'm Bear with me because I'm, I'm going to have, obviously have to adjust the angle a wee bit here to try and make sure I get the journal in. Give me just a wee second. Right, hopefully that will do this. Um, made a wee junk journal and really just wanted to get back into the swing of things. So let's have a quick look at what we've got here. It is um, made from an envelope, just an ordinary manila envelope that I gessoed to uh, I gessoed it first because I wanted to, to use a decoupage napkin and when you do a napkin on manila folders, on manila um, envelopes, you don't get the true colours so it's better to gesso them first. So it's been gessoed, then I used a decoupage napkin, then beyond that I have added a kind of organza fabric that has some appliques over it and that has been sewn on. I'm hopefully letting you see it properly. Um, so that's what forms the cover. Inside what I've done is just used some scrapbooking paper. This is a Tim Holtz paper here. And let's get into the actual decoration of the book. Now I didn't want to, I, I, as you know, I do enjoy a, a nice wee bit of collage. I didn't want to go over the score with the collage. Wait a minute, I'll just move these out of the way. I didn't want to go over the score with the collage. So what I did was I collaged the edges of papers. Um, that way you can still journal on this bit, but every page has decoration of some sort or another. So here it's um, washi tape that I've then overlaid with some um, ephemera that came from uh, some sort of Tim Holtz package and it was all very very small ephemera um, I can't remember the name of it I got it absolutely ages ago and it's one of these things like, like everything else just sits in my drawer and I forget it's there because there's so much and you go in looking for something find it and think oh we'll use that instead so anyway we've got some wee bits of ephemera some postage stamps um, a piece of lace that I cut out, um, so uh, stuck on here. Over the page we've got uh, some music paper down here and a uh, fussy cut, uh, a flower from another book. Got some more of that Tim Holtz Ephemera. A wee bit of washi tape up the top here and just some um, French postage stamps that are I'm not sure what age they are, but they're from before it was the Euro, so it was, well, it was still francs. And down the bottom, just a wee section of lace. Got a wee tiny doily, well not a tiny doily, but a small doily, small round doily here. First tuck is just a tuck down the bottom, and I had to put these tucks on because I made these um, tags from, uh, these are Tim Holtz tags, and I, it didn't occur to me that they were actually bigger than the tucks I originally made for the book. So I've had to add additional tucks to accommodate these. And if I can explain to you um, the tags, you can journal on the back should you so desire. I would use a felt pen. I wouldn't use a ballpoint because you'll damage these. These are acetate wings that uh, are Tim Holtz. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I stamped the tag and distress inked it. Uh, then I had fussy cut the girdle and got the acetate leaves, uh, sorry, acetate wings. I had seen a mixed media video about a week, well, in fact, probably about three weeks ago now. Um, I could think the girl's name is Stephanie Owen, A U N E. And it just so happened that she was using the paper dolls with these wee. Uh, thing made these wee acetate wings and I thought I really like the look of those wings tried to get them couldn't get them anywhere locally found them on eBay <coughs> but they were coming from America 
so I ordered them and by the time they came up I'd completely lost all interest in doing anything. Um, so finally got around to it. Um, so anyway that's that's the first tag. Um, I think, uh, is it Creative Cathy Girl? Susie? She did something recently with these wings I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I haven't watched the video but I saw the um, the wee kind of thumbnail for it. Right, so that's the first tag. I'll put that back in there. Uh, here's the first tuck that was meant to be a tuck, if you know what I mean. Um, again, I just used some Tim Holtz paper and just tore it down the edge and stuck it on and then decorated it a bit. Uh, made a circular tag because I hadn't done any of those for a while. And you can write on the back, and that's just another piece of Tim Holtz paper that you can write on. One of my favourite me and bolts. A book page. Just some more. Uh, this is actually washi tape, very thick, well, uh, not thick, but very wide. So I tore it down the middle and I've used it in two pages. Uh, so it's stuck here and then I added um, a vellum sticker of angels. I want, to, by the way, this book is called Angels because of all the wings that's in it. Um, so uh, I thought it was quite good that I actually had some, you know, vellum stickers with angels on it. Uh, so just some more, oh, a wee bit of gold up there. I like, you know, my button light from a wee bit of gold. Uh, some more pieces of lace that are stuck here. Over the page, this is a different washi tape. And I added just some lace and some beaded trim, re-image and uh, just a piece of music paper. And this is another one of my angels tags and my other tuck spot. And this paper here is a junk, what is it you call it, ledger paper that my very good friend Caroline gave me. Um, right, this one again just stamped it with a variety of stamps. This is a Tim Holtz Sizzix die, say in lifetime. Um, then my wee angel girl, I just cut her out, uh, fussy cut her and then added the angel wings and again you can write on the back of that. quite awkward to do this when I'm at this funny angle, but it does fit. You need to watch what you're doing. Your your wings. And that page opens out there. Here we've got another tuck, a uh, piece of material trim, very last piece of material trim I have to say. Um, here did another couple of wee tags. You can write in the back of those. Just again, bit of book page. It's my German text book page and a couple of vellum stickers and just a wee bit of lace. A French music paper. Another tuck here. And another angels tag. Just a little one this time because I made some wee ones. And some printed ephemera, which I think is the ephemera that's in my Etsy shop still. I think it is anyway. That's in there. Uh, different ledger paper, and I noticed that I actually managed to stick this page in upside down, so the numbers are upside down. I don't think it will detract from the page. Um, <laughs> You can still write on it, obviously, whether the numbers are upside down or not. So none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. Uh, here is just another piece of washi, and I've decorated it up with a variety of different uh, things, different pieces, um, some stamps, some Tim Holtz ephemera, and this is one of these tea, book bond tea um, cards. Another wee bit of lace there. Over the page, this is my my Scottish page. Um, another one of the tea 
Rick Bond tea uh, cards. This is from a series on, uh, I think it was actually on Elizabeth I and Elizabeth II. And the very first card I pulled out was Mary Queen of Scots, who was killed by Elizabeth I. Um, she had her head cut off. Um, here I've got Bonnie Chin, Charlie's Now A Wall, which is another Scottish song. Uh, that's the other half of it. The, the whole song was too big for this particular page. Uh, just another wee bit of ephemera and a bit of lace at the top. And the music at the back there is actually Old Lang Syne, which is um, a Scottish song. It's uh, I, I think it was uh, Rabbi Burns that actually wrote the words for Old Lang Syne. I don't know who did the tune. I don't know if it was him. I don't think he did music as such. Uh, there you go. Anyway. Uh, that's Washi again, and just a couple of pieces of ephemera. Here again, French dictionary page and some music paper, vellum sticker, and a couple of bits of lace. Another pocket or another tuck here, and another one of my angel tags. French music. Over here I've got another tuck, and in this one I have another angel tag, quite a big one. I think this is the last of the really big angel tags, the ones that wouldn't have fitted in the normal pockets. German book page here, but it's the uh, one of the images from the book. Vellum sticker and a Belgian old Belgian stamp. Over the page, another tuck, and she's not so much an angel. She, I think she looks like a wee rascal. I might be wrong, she might have been a lovely wee lassie, but she looks like a wee imp. So, uh, just made up a wee tag, a fussy cutter, and added her in. This is, uh, these are, this is a washi tape that looks like old bus tickets from Mary Le Mans. It's not terribly sticky, I had to add extra glue to that to hold it down. Uh, some more gold here. Book page again. Another piece of just scrap the paper that you can use. With the doily. And um, that's a real bus ticket there, and a vintage bus ticket. And the last page, and that is the book. Now, as is generally the case with me, I always make ephemera that's a bit of a struggle to fit in the the actual book. Closure, by the way, is this white seam bind, and I haven't bothered dyeing it. I've just left it white. Uh, so there's actually a couple of envelopes that go with this. Uh, this one has got a M for Moira, and it. I can't remember what the book's called, but it's um, the girl was Fanny Robinson, so I'm sure someone will recognise the name and be able to tell you, because uh, I've, I've torn out all the pages and got rid of the book, because not all of the book, I thought it was a bit like uh, Edith Holden when I got it, but it's not, the text was the text, um, you know, just normal, so it, it, wasn't a, it wasn't appropriate for making a journal in my book. Um, just a wee piece of lacy trim here and I have done the magnet closure again, did that in one of the other books and then here's just another piece of my printed ephemera and another one here these wax seals um, did this one in a kind of black come burgundy and then went over it with a uh, gold wax just to add an extra piece of interest and that's another one of those Tim Holtz words there, Discover uh, this has also got a magnet closure and inside is another fancy cut tag And uh, this is this is one of my receipts that I got, um, and it's for a, a lady by the name of Mrs. Keen, and I think I think she's Mrs. Keen, because it's um, Pullers and Sons, which are dyers to the Queen. Uh, Pullers was a 
cleaning firm that, um, you know, did dry cleaning of clothes and things like that. Obviously, they must have dyed clothes for the Queen, and it would have been Queen Victoria, um, because I think it's... I don't know if I can see the date on the receipt, but I remember thinking it was pretty old. Yes, yeah, I think it says 98, so it'll be uh, 1898. Uh, so that's, I'm kidding on that this is Mrs. Keane and that's her receipt. And Angel just so happened was on one of the wee uh, tickets that I had. Um, so there's some lace at the back of her as well. So that fits in there. Uh, and I covered over the magnet with a piece of washi with a wee birdie on it. And that'll go with the book as well. So... Um, the book will be going up for sale in my uh, New Monday shop. Um, if you catch me before I put it in the New Monday shop, um, the book's not going to be terribly expensive. I will post something about it in uh, my Facebook page, Bygones Eras Facebook page. I'll leave a link below to that. Um, and if anybody's interested, they can get in touch with me through Facebook, through Messenger. Um, and that's us. So thanks very much for your time. I'll see you all again in the not too distant future. Uh, thanks for all your interest and your followings and whatever and all your advice that I've had of late. Except for the people who tell me that I have a very mumbly voice and a horrible accent. And I thought, well, thank you very much. You can go and get stuffed. Anyway, thanks very much for the rest of you. We won't mention them because these... Uh, ironically, an awful lot of people commented in my video who did not know what junk journals were about and it would appear they didn't really understand what humanity is about either but that's beside the point uh, there were some folk who didn't know what junk journals were who were very nice um, and it was lovely to be able to speak to them but uh, some folk really just they should maybe stop before they start typing something because they just don't appreciate how helpful they can become but there you go um, takes all sorts of things to make a world. Anyway, thanks very much for your time. I shall see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.